up folks? Today I'm going to be talking about a game called Gambler. The happy-go-lucky game of chance. This game came out in 1977 and it's for two to four players ages 10 and up. Now the object of this game is to be the first player to amass $1,000 and the way you're going to be doing that is you're going to be playing a bunch of little different games in this game itself to try to win it. Um, there's uh, sweepstakes here, there's lotteries, there's a lot of different little games via the board game spaces and also via the cards. We call this a luck fest because this is mainly this is rolling dice. This is a dice rolling game for sure. But it's a fun little game and it plays pretty quick and it's very easy to learn. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the details of how to play it right now. Ta-da! Okay, so here's the gambler board. I'm going to go ahead and take you through uh, the cards and the different components of this game to begin with. Obviously, here's the dice, and you're going to best be rolling these dice, and you're going to be moving around the board, and depending on where you land, you're just going to simply follow the instructions. Um, first thing you're going to be, you have the opportunity to do is you're going to have an opportunity to buy a lottery card, which is right here. The lottery card will give you an opportunity to win some money. You spend $10 to buy this card, and... Um, if these numbers show up on the dice shaker, which I'm going to show you, and um, one right next to the other, then you're going to win the money. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you this fast. This is the this is the main component of this game is this dice shaker. What you do is you shake it, and then the dice will go straight down in a line like this. So for the lottery ticket that I just showed you, you saw that there was a 5 and a 2. If there's a 5 here and there's a 2 here or anywhere, just as long as those two numbers are next to each other, you're going to win money. And there's different combinations of numbers on these lottery tickets here. I'll show you. Um, there's a 1-5, there's a 5-2, there's a 4-6. Now you can buy up to three of these per turn, but you have to do it before you actually roll the dice. And uh, the time you're going to play a lottery is when you land on a lottery space, which is here and here and here. And, um, the horse race card you're going to use when you land on a uh, either the daily double which is here or the horse race space which is here, the off to the races. And what happens is that everybody and you have everybody has to do this even if they have no money but they're gonna end up buying a horse race card for 20 bucks and these basically have uh, just numbers on like three and four and six and uh, that player is going to go ahead and roll the die, and if the number that he rolls is the same as a number on the horse race card, that player is going to end up winning uh, 80 bucks. All right, the fortune cards, um, these are pretty self-explanatory. If you land on one of these, you're going to go ahead and pick one of these up, and then it's just going to give you instructions as to what to do. So, for example, that says collect $50 from the bank. This one says hold the lottery. This one says pay, pay $100 to the bank. And um, then there's like a, some of these that have actually little games in here, like the roll two dice, one of five number, collect $100. Okay, so the IOU cards, um, a player who ends up running out of money is going to end up picking up one of these and is going to borrow $200 from the bank. And eventually they're going to have to pay off the IOU. The IOU is going to allow the player to get 200 bucks from the bank, but eventually they're going to have to pay it back plus 20%. All right, so now we're going to go to the sweepstakes. The sweepstakes are right here. Now what happens in the sweepstakes is that everybody is going to put $10 in and they're going to bet on one of these spaces right here uh, and they're going to be betting with this um, dice shaker. The player who landed on the sweepstakes is going to roll this thing. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you what these spaces are. You'll see that there's six different spaces here and there's uh, different numbers here that you can use to bet. And what you're using, trying to do is you're trying to either get the highest number, pairs, or a straight. So let's say, and you're going to use these chips here to make a bet. So let's say I bet a chip here for $300. If the high, if the high number, say a six shows up over here, and if sixes show up, if it's, there's like two sixes, then whoever puts it on the sixes or the highest number is going to win. So let's say a six shows up right here. I'm going to end up winning $300 because I placed a chip there. Now, for the splits, this basically means you're going to be splitting the difference between two spaces. So, if a high number shows up here and here, for example, for this, then you're going to end up winning $150. You're basically splitting these two 300s with this. Pairs basically means you're betting that there's going to be two dice of the same number that are going to show up right next to each other. So, if a 4 shows up here and a 4 shows up here, for example, you'll win $200. The straight is the big one. You're betting that there's going to be three numbers that are sequential that are going to show up in a row. So say a 3, 4, 5 shows up here, or 4, 5, 6, that's a straight, and you'll end up winning $450. So 
So for example, let's say this guy bets 300, this guy bets the split here, this guy bets pairs, and this guy bets the straight. This little thing is going to get rolled, and then it's going to get placed down here. So now you're going to look at this. Um, this guy bet that one, this area would be the highest. He's wrong, so he doesn't win anything. This guy split this and this, so he's not going to win anything. Um, there were no pairs that showed up, so he's not going to win anything. And there was not a, uh, well, actually, yeah, there's a straight right here, a four, five, and a six. So the blue is going to win $450. Okay, so now another unique thing about this game is if someone rolls doubles, um, they're going to have an opportunity to either hold a sweepstakes or try to collect $500 by rolling doubles again. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little uh, play in the game here for you, just to kind of give you an idea of how this game runs. All right, roll a seven. So I'm going to move seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Unlucky seven. It says, roll a seven, pay bank $30. Any other roll, bank pays you $30. So the player's going to pick it up. And he rolled an eight, so the bank ends up paying him thirty bucks, and it goes to the next person. He rolls seven, so he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he ended up going on the same spot, so I'll just go somewhere else right now. I'll go to high roller. Uh, this one says bet up to fifty dollars, roll dice twice. If the second roll is higher, bank pays you twice the bet. So here's another little game you can play. So I'll go ahead and roll the dice twice. After this guy makes his bet, uh, let's say he bets thirty bucks. He just rolled an 11, so now he has to roll a 12 in order to collect the bet, and he doesn't, so he ends up paying the guy $50. Okay, so I'll roll again. This guy rolls a 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this is a fortune card, so it says take a fortune card, and it says pay $50 to the bank. So this player pays $50 to the bank, and we'll go to the next player. Now let's say, I'll go ahead and roll just for the fun of it. Uh, let's say he rolls a 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, he lands on what's called a bonanza. And this says, everyone gives you 10 times the roll of one die. So now the player is going to roll die. He rolls a 5, so he, everybody has to pay him $50. So you can kind of see how the money is switching back and forth between people. And uh, this is kind of like how the game is going to go. Uh, pretty much up until somebody wins $1,000. Now when you pass start, you're going to end up collecting $100. Similar as if you were passing go in Monopoly. But anyway, this is basically how the game runs. Um, you're going to be playing different little games uh, going around the spaces. You've got the fortune cards. You've got lottery tickets you can buy. Of course, you've got the horse race that you're going to eventually be playing. And uh, there's just a lot of cool little games along this board that you can play. And there's also going to be times you're going to be giving money to pay players, you know, taking money from players. And it just kind of goes back and forth up till somebody wins $1,000. And that is the end of the game. And this is Gambler. I recommend picking it up for you.